DJI Pocket 2 just got released and I wouldn't be greeny if we wouldn't have gotten one which we can unbox and test in this video and this is exciting news because this is the second generation of the DJI Osmo Pocket but this time it's only called Pocket without the Osmo and only the packaging isn't much bigger than my Google Pixel 4 so uh, this is the definition of portable and, and pocket sizable so Feel free to become a member. There's a join button down below. This is the camera and gimbal, I assume. Yes. That might be cables. That might be the accessories. This is not the content creator kit. There is also a content creator kit out there with additional um, features like a microphone and uh, a wider lens. But this is DJI Pocket 2. This might be the joystick we're gonna use later. Be Oh yeah, cables. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the wrist strap. That, that's important. Okay, what is this? Oh uh, yeah, okay, so this is the lightning adapter and the USB-C adapter. But we really do not care much about that. So this is what we're really interested in. This is the DJI Pocket 2. It should be... Yeah, okay, so this is the camera in its case. It comes with a nice case though. It's like a, a plastic case you can put everything in, so it's super transportable. Again, for the size comparison, this is my Pixel 4 next to it. Uh, yeah, that is the definition of a compact gimbal camera. Get out, ooh, nice. So, peels. Ooh, listen to that sound. Remove before powering on. All right, let's do that. Let's remove that. Ooh, nice. All right, the camera is alive and it is asking what language you want to use and definitely English. Is this a touch screen? DJI Pocket not activated. Connect to phone and activate with DJI Mimo. Okay, I would say skip. So yeah, there is the built-in viewfinder. And I really like the fact that this is a standalone tool. Sure, we can connect our smartphone to it, but we don't need to. And this is this is pretty cool. This camera comes with some features I'm very interested in testing over the next few days. By the way, subscribe to this channel to not miss those videos. Because this camera is not only super small and portable. No, it actually comes with a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, which is still small but yet a bit bigger than the last one and can shoot in 4K 60, which is, which is seriously, which is crazy, which is crazy. Like three years ago, we were like crying because no camera could shoot 4K 60 and now our smartphones can do it. They can even do 8K now. This guy can do it. It's awesome, it's awesome. It seems we can shoot full HD up to 60 frames a second we have 2K and we have 4K, of course. And in 4K, we can shoot 60 frames a second. That's nice. All right, so 4K 60. So hello guys, say hello to that camera over there. And here is the other camera currently filming. And there is a random green dino. This is me. Hi! <laughs> this is pretty cool. So this is all fun, but I want to try the joystick. So let's turn it off again. I, I like this this uh, shutting off motion. It's this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. This is a module we can plug into here. So let's do this real quick. We can get rid of that plate and slide that one on it. And with it, we should have functionality over the camera, so we can actually control it. Let's try this. Let's move the camera. Ooh. This is fancy, fancy fancy, nice. So we can either have this little joystick on it or we can get rid of it and use that connection to connect our smartphone with it. So let's try this. Let's connect the phone to it and see what happens. If there will be a message to download an app or something. Ooh, I like this turning on motion still, it's awesome. All right, so once we logged into our DJI account and registered our DJI Pocket 2, we got a small, uh, yeah, startup guide, what to do and how it works. And uh, let's just go and see what we, come on, a firmware upgrade. 
Let's install this one too then. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the user experience you get when you purchase a DJI Pocket 2 right now. Have to log into the DJI account, then you will have to update the firmware and oh boy. Come on, I just want to use it. I just want to play around with cameras. Come on, that's all I want to do. Oh, DJI. I hate this. Just let me test it. Come on. Uh. Hi guys, how are you doing? Have you subscribed to Greenbox yet? I mean, we're currently waiting for the firmware to update, so we can't do anything else anyway. So why don't you just click the subscribe button and like this video? Also, if you really, really, really want to support this channel, you can become a member. Would be nice. And we still have this thing going on. If we hit 10 members until the end of the year, I will buy one of those animal jumpsuits and we'll do an entire video in one of them. Hello, I'm doing a firmware upgrade for the DJI Pocket 2. Yay, this is so much fun, so much fun. You should definitely buy one and become a member. Yay. All right, so we are now in the app, in the camera. And while we don't have a physical joystick anymore, we have a new one in our app. And this, this is pretty nice. I mean, this is just toying around, but yeah, this is my setup. Say hello to it. And, and this camera has some nice features I want to test in depth in dedicated videos. For example, this little camera should be able to create super resolution pictures. And we already did a video about what super resolution pictures are up there. And this is definitely something I want to test because this camera is so small and if it's really that powerful, it by the way also should have an eight times zoom, which is insane. But let's record, let's record something and try to zoom. Let's take another photo. I guess that was a photo, but we cannot preview it on the phone. Okay, that's weird. All right, so what else can we do? What is this? Oh yeah, so this is the, the panel, the, the super resolution I was talking about. Let's do, why, why, why don't we do that with our studio? So let's see. Oh, we can even do 180 degrees? Oh, heck yeah, let's do this. So, okay, it's taking one picture, another picture, a third picture, and a fourth picture. Oh, okay, so this is all. All right. It might not be the feature I was thinking about then. Okay, so yeah, this is the panel. Looks, looks okay, I guess. Stitching looks fine. Although it's only a panel and not really a sphere or, or anything in that matters. So let's see what we can do here. So this might be, this might be the feature. Of, yeah, this is the feature I was referring to, like the super resolution photo. Uh, with nine photos. So three rows with three columns and that should give a super resolution picture of your surrounding. I regularly do um, panoramics and spherical photos with my uh, specialized gear and it is, yeah, it is always a pain in the butt to, to set up everything and shoot the photos and then stitch them. So if this camera can do that um, well enough, this would be a nice tool to like carry around and create um, small samples to just see if the location would be suitable for that. Now we, again, we have the same problem. I can't access the library, so I can't see if the photo was any good or not. I hope this is getting fixed. If tapping that icon isn't what we should do to see our photos, I don't know what is. So what's the next one? Story. Ooh. All right. Oh, is this is this like is this like the the AI based editor? Because something which is pretty awesome if it's actually working is this camera or the app comes with an AI based video editor. So technically, I should be able to record some footage with the DJI Pocket 2 and the AI based editor should edit it to an awesome video. This sounds awesome, but this feature might also take my workplace. So I'm not sure if I like it or hate it, but I will definitely try it in a dedicated video. And to not miss that video, subscribe to this channel. Make sure you're subscribed and rang the bell so you will not miss that video once it hits the channel. So again, let's see, what was that story? I mean, sure, my studio isn't the best, uh, the best place to do it. Okay, 
Whoa, this is actually cool. This app is uh, suspiciously not responsive today. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So it actually tells you what shots to take and it will edit it into a video. Let's try this one. I just want to, I want to see that. Um, do we have something I can focus on that? And let's go. Two, one, go. Yeah, I'm not sure if the app is broken or the product isn't finished yet. Yeah, I don't think this is supposed to do what it's currently doing. Um, this might be the app. Absolutely not working here. Uh, live, whoa, there's a live streaming feature. That's actually awesome. I definitely have to try, try that because this is going to end in a how to use the DJI Pocket 2 as a webcam. Um, yeah. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm impressed how not responsive the app currently is, but that might be a thing which got fixed within a few hours. But other than that, I'm pretty excited to test this camera in more depth in dedicated videos. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to not miss those videos. All right, so if there is anything you want to see with that camera, let me know in the comment sections below. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox and you shall click here. This is the playlist with all the DJI Pocket 2 videos and I will see you there. All right, bye.